I got it. I can do this. I know what I'm doing. I'm here. I'm here now. Welcome in, everybody. Yay! He has a, he has a thing. Puff Pastry, thank you for the follow. Thank you for coming in on the raid. Marcelli, I was saying thank you so much for the raid. What a what a thing to start a stream with. Um, Executa? How do I say that? Is that right? Welcome in. Uh, thanks for letting me know about the mic. I could have sat here for an hour. I've done it before. Sat here for an hour just talking. No one told me. Puzzles, board game heaven, retro chaos. Uh, congratulations, to everybody! They got first, second, and third. <clears throat> you said it correct the first try. Oh no! What did I say? Executa, executa. Not a lot of people get that. I, you know, it, the weirder it is, the <laughs> the the better chance I have for it. Um, there was I was trying to pronounce, say like it was like. David Alexander or something, and it just, it was a complete disaster. But the weirder it is, the easier I have the time I have with it. Oh my god, has it been a week already. I don't, last week never ended, right? We had like a full, a full week of streaming, and then we did a long night on Friday where we played Spore for like eight or nine hours, and then we we built PCs all day long on Saturday, so it was like another eight-ish hours of streaming. Um, me and me and Team Wildwood building these PCs, and then yesterday, for like five or six hours, I worked with Nate the Adventurer getting them networked. Um, also installing various drivers for some of the hardware he sent, getting the Voodoo 2 running um, on on the DOS machine, and then in the evening. Me and TechLink worked on something really fucking cool. The 4 can yeah, they do. Yep. They're IP cameras. They're IP cameras, so they will always have a delay. But that's okay, because they're never gonna be assigned to a mic, so it's kind of whatever. <clears throat> um, that's just that's just the nature of IP cameras. Unless you're gonna spend $90,000, IP cameras are gonna have a delay. <laughs> And I'm more in the, at this point, the $40 IP camera range. Um, but yeah, they're always, they're always going to have a delay. But that's fine, because they're meant to be more of like a security camera view type of thing anyways, that you guys can redeem with commands or whatever. Uh, and not, they're not necessarily meant to be, uh, you know, the other nine cameras in the room that don't have a delay. Uh, so... Let's start with the thing that me and TechLink were working on last night. TechLink did all the coding. I just I just provided like I want this and here's how we should do it, right? Uh, we we made a we made a thing. He made a thing. I installed it. Let me switch over to this camera. And I'll show you. All right. See this little CRT over here? Do I have double mic right now? I don't think so. Okay, we're good. This little CRT over here. Oh, would you look at this? There it is. That's it right there. How fucking cool is that? That was perfect timing. Thanks, Kuda. So good. And then it goes back to the static, the static GIF. So this is a Raspberry Pi running, running video out of the headphone jack into a CRT. A nice little uh, wood grain CRT. That was, isn't that cool? Uh, so, that Raspberry Pi can either go there, or it can go to the one on the wall here, which is probably the more efficient version. It's easier to read, and the cameras will pick it up better. Uh, but man, man, that's cool. I need to adjust colors, and maybe I can get the camera to pick it up better on the shelf behind me, but it's, uh, you know, it's a thing. It's just, it's just so fucking cool. <laughs> that's so cool. <clears throat> I'm gonna restart my phone. It seems to have locked up with that camera. So yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be a code that TechLink shares with the world at some point, but hard to say when. 
I'm having to like hold the power button on my phone and hope for the best here. Damn, this thing hard locked. It's kind of crazy. It's even hard locked with like the flash on. I might have to. Oh, since the flash is on, maybe the battery will die soon. <laughs> let me let me see if I can reconnect it. Will it will it unfreeze? Oh, it's frozen with the camera on. That's wild. Deactivate. Okay, that turned the flash off. That is so wild. Droidcam OBS, what have you done? I figure holding the power button down long enough would make this this Zeus phone turn off, but it seems to not. We might actually have to kill the battery for it to turn off. That is um, really weird. Hey, Catesio, yes. Okay, we'll just. All right. So, so that was that was the cool thing was the CRT that reacts to bits, subs, raids, and follows. Um, there's also like a decent amount of, of programming that can go into it where I can change images for everything and the fonts It can take a local font from the Raspberry Pi, which is super cool I'm, I'm excited about the things. This is like a placeholder um, I'm probably gonna put higher quality assets on it. Shame you rated too early. No, no worries. No, somebody um, uh, Someone followed um, And we got to see it go. I also have like my uh, channel owner only test commands the thing about the static and this far away is it just turns into a white blur like if i do this it just you can't read the words uh, so i'm gonna have to keep playing it i'm about to keep playing with it i am excited about it uh yeah Catesio, i have never had a voodoo card before so this is the first time um it got hooked up yesterday and i tested it on a couple games and we had to write a script for tomb raider one to make it work right and not be purple like all purple it was weird um but this is the first time i've ever streamed with a voodoo so I'm, I'm hyped about that before we do that though there it is so fucking cool can i zoom in on that there you go you guys can kind of read it that's a little bit better i gotta be careful i almost zoomed in on my address again so, the other thing that we worked on this weekend... Yeah, the colors are messed up. Apparently you had a viewer. Probably you. It's always one, as far as I know. Oh, you had two! Neat. Neat. Do you have a bot? Do you have a board game bot? Yeah, but it was two. I see that. Alright, so the other cool thing that I'm really excited to share with y'all is that we, uh, we got the network working. Yeah, it's crazy that this phone just won't reset. It's like the it's like the, the droid cam OBS is stuck in front of everything else and won't let me do anything. <clears throat> Land party win. August 5th is gonna be the test event. Me and Alex might be um, doing some troubleshooting um, before that. I think we had a date. It's like mid mid-july but here real quick i'm gonna fire up two of the pcs and show y'all the the retro lamb working so we have an isolated network for these computers um oh it's fucking this is so fucking cool yeah. like so getting them all networked that was the last fucking hurdle that was the last hurdle right we built the room all of this we built all of this we moved in we built all the desks we got everything hooked up we ran ran cables everywhere we, um, you know, ensured that capture of all four PCs would work, capture of the four room cameras would work, the microphones would work at four different desks. Um, then we built the computers, ensured that they would work, and then we networked them. And we, I got two of them yesterday. I only, I only did two. I haven't gotten to the other two. Um, but I have two computers that can now play anything together on an IPX network. Um, so... I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. It's so fucking cool, it's so cool. <clears throat> All right, uh, so this guy here, I've still got a, these scenes are a mess. 
<clears throat> but this one's connected to station two. Uh, here. So the way this, the way this works over there in that corner, the the curved desk, that's station one. My streaming desk is station zero. That desk is station two, um, which will have a couple different computers on it. That's going to be my main retro streaming station for anything 98 and DOS. The one over here next to it is station three. And the one over here in this corner by the shelf is station four. <clears throat> They'll also have a color designation because of the mic cables. So it'll be black, green, red, blue. Um, and so here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we're having LAN parties, chat will have a set of commands that they can use to change the cameras. Uh, and that'll be under exclamation mark control. It'll pop it into chat. So from here, you could do station one and go to it. Which of course there's there's nothing on. You know, pop over to station three, see what's going on with the player there. <clears throat> or you can do room cameras. Southeast. Um, and this one will auto return. So you can pick any of the four IP cameras in the wall, in the, in the ceiling, <clears throat> do whatever. But this one will automatically return to the next scene. Better mic? Than, yeah. Well, the microphone that we were at in the other stations, they're the ones. What desk is it? Desk three? So these microphones are actually, they're at the desks going through a soundboard. The one that I was standing in front of obviously is going to sound better because, you know, but this is, this is going to be just perfect. <clears throat> this is bad? How, what, what kind of bad? Just far away? That's kind of, that's kind of the nature of it. I mean, of course it sounds distant. distant. These ones are on the desk side, the outside of the room, and I'm standing in the middle of it. Totally different thing. Check the pod. Not just this. Okay, I will now. You know what? You know what streamers love? Starting their stream and hearing complaints about sound. Just, it's always off to the best start. <clears throat> it's a good thing we can go back in the VOD while we're still live. It's a good thing we can go back in the VOD while we're I mean, of course it sounds distant, distant. These ones are on, this one will automatically return to the next scene. <clears throat> or... That's not bad. Y'all, y'all stop. Y'all stop. No, we were out of... Okay, how about not? So, all right. Man. All right. <clears throat> no, there's nothing abnormal here. This is the way the stream is. Um, and that, that should be the end of it. But I'm going to defend it even further. And then we're going to move on and never talk about it again. Yeah, of course there's, there's computers with fans. It's a LAN party. There's going to be clicking keyboards too. There's going to be people breathing. That's going to be fun. Um, there's going to be, yeah, mouse clicking. It's going to be noisy. This is not going to be like the high production. There's no way, unless we put everybody in individual sound booths and put the PCs on the outside, there's no way that it'll be perfect. And if that's, if that's something that people need, well, there's other places on Twitch that is not a broadcast land party. <clears throat> Good hearing, it's the other PCs. 
and rage moments. Hell yeah, it's gonna be noisy in here. It's not gonna be isolated sound. There's no way to do that. There's no way to do that and still have everybody in the same room. Um, so everything that I heard in the VOD, and I'll go back and watch it more later um, with headphones so that I, you know, I'm not hearing uh, this particular one over here. Because the red machine that we're using today, for whatever reason, its CPU fan is stuck on at 100% all the time. And there's isn't anything I can do about that. That's that AMD K6 too. Yeah, it's just the PC. I mean, it's pretty close. Uh, like, microphone is here. Red case is here. Because there's no room under the desk to put it. So, you're going to be hearing that one. Actually, it's even, it's worse than that. There's, um, there's another microphone right here next to it. Um, yeah. I think it's just going to be the way it is. I might be able to put that one under the desk, but... Um, it's the only computer that I really have above a desk, which kind of sucks. Oh well, that's just the way it is. <clears throat> okay, now for the thing that I wanted to show y'all. Oh, right, because, uh... I killed the power, and for some whatever reason, this battery's gone dead. I didn't replace it yesterday. <clears throat> I, need get that, I need to get that battery replaced. That's not right. That's not right. One more year down. There we go. Ten more years down. <laughs> Time is it? 12.06. Great. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we're in the future, guys. I know. Well, it didn't automatically crash, right? got a weird echo on it that I haven't figured out yet. Uh... It's somewhere in one of the controls. Yeah, like there's a reverb and chorus here that you can't disable. Text types here. Uh... Text variations played back during MIDI. Unix time issues. Oh, this is just for the, the MIDI set. I want to find... Is it going to be the creative mixer? I would assume so, too. I don't see anything there. There's just so many programs that install with an all 64. Wave synth. Aha! Maybe this is it. Is this it? Let's make it off. I think that was probably it. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh let's do this. Y'all wanna hear some really like nasty MIDI though? Alright, we're going to let this one start the game. F10 to go. Alright, here we go. Now we're waiting for a second player. Interesting that it's looking for two players. Hold on a second. Was there a way to make that more? I never actually looked at that. Wait for call. Skills. Deathmatch. Oh, there it is. You can do four players. Great. Okay, okay. I see it now. All right, F10 to launch. We're gonna move over to uh, 
station. Uh, get this guy going here. Yeah, this is that Doom that I picked up at the estate sale recently. So we're just going to hit go, and it'll find the other player. Found a node, and hey, guess what? We're in. We got... Let's see where the other player is. Look! There he is! We found- we found player two! It fucking works, man. It fucking works. Then you need to use something like... Station three. And we're switching over to his view. Look, there's player- there's player on the station two. And this really shitty myth, uh, Sith emulation. You have to go there? Hell yeah, you do! And don't forget, these are all running on CRTs. I think we want to punch this guy to death, right? There it is. <laughs> Switch back to, to station two. Hey, Keo, welcome in. Thank you for the thank you for the raid. Oh, weird. What happened here? Oh, okay, okay. You guys changed. Yeah, there you go. And now we can see a uh, player at station two or station three standing triumphant over the corpse. <laughs> How fucking dope is that? I'm just so happy it works. Also, you can hear the difference between MIDI emulation on all 64 gold and MIDI from the, the sound canvas. <clears throat> of course, everybody's gonna be wearing headphones during one of these events. Um, so there won't be sound bleed from the speakers at all. <clears throat> no, I haven't. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, I haven't tried the sound canvas yet. I'm over at station, uh, two, by the way. I'm not sure where the camera is. Uh, let's get, let's get this guy fired up. This part will be so much easier when there's multiple people here. <laughs> I won't have to do all the computers at once. <clears throat> Alright, I'll go back to station two. This is like, this is like top tier dream level shit, honestly. And here we go, we got a multiplayer game of Diablo going. How fucking dope is that? The name of, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, every stream. Um, I, like I said, these are, uh, everything's just a placeholder right now to get it working. Um, we still got like, we're gonna be troubleshooting this for forever, but everything works. Like right now, everything fucking works. 
and I could not be happier. Um, but I, you know, I have like the bare minimum as far as scenes and effects and commands go. <clears throat> this is, uh... <laughs> I've been trying to make this happen in, in various forms for probably seven years now. The first, the first issue was before I was a streamer, is that I just didn't have any friends that were interested in old games. Old LAN parties. Um, and then I started streaming, and it was just kind of like, yeah, this room, there's never going to be enough room. And then finally, like a year and a half ago, we started talking about remodeling the garage and doing it. Um, and that finally happened this year. Um, and now we're, now we're all moved in and ready to fucking do it. With other Twitch streamers. Which is awesome. I'm just, I'm really excited to stream all of this. It's gonna be fucking dope. <clears throat> it is, it is, it is a dream come true for me. Also, in my, in my infinite wisdom and, and super bright moves was having a rolling chat stand for myself that I can just wheel around the room everywhere. Is, uh, that was, that was the real genius move on my part. <laughs> <clears throat> It's an idea you're willing to steal. Try it. Go for it. I'm gonna get this computer powered down. We're not using it today. So I've got two more, two more machines that I have to network. Um, Two more machines that I got to network, uh, which I don't know if I'll get to them tonight sometime this week. I got lots of time. Sure wish that my phone would unfreeze. Oh well. <clears throat> Okay. Let's uh let's dive into today's game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think on this computer. How how bad is right now with this microphone? We on the right microphone? I gotta make sure that I just set this scene up today. That's not that's not the right scene. We want. That one should be good. Okay. I need my headphones. <laughs> hey, Dragon Jim. One of the other things that I wanted to test today was putting the uh, um, the chat monitor up there and seeing if I could see it well from all, all corners. What's the deal with it? Oh, I was listening to it. Should, uh, should we listen to it, Catastio? Can we listen to it? Can I share it? The work in progress? Of course. Okay. So, I was talking to Catastio a little ways, or a couple days ago, and I was like, you know what? For OBS, I think the Quadland needs a theme song. Uh, so I asked Catastio if he'd be interested in um, composing something reminiscent of some of his music, some Doom, some Duke Nukem, uh, 3D. And he was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Um, and he's, he's worked on a couple things, and this is the most current work in progress. And it is fucking incredible. I'm gonna turn on my headphones so that I can blast them. It's a bad, it's so good. 
It's so good. It's not the final version. I got I got a little feedback that I just haven't had a chance to to share yet, but um man, y'all y'all ready? This thing is fucking incredible. Um hopefully. Hey, thank you. Hopefully. The um Hell were all those things? Oh, that TV has its own thing and it's got a delay. Interesting. Um, yeah, hopefully this comes through loud and I don't need to turn things up more. Ready? Let's go. This is on the sound canvas. No, wait a second. Wait a second. There's some kind of reverb. Let me, uh, let me deal with that. I hear that reverb. So this is on an all 64 gold. So this is the nicest sound card I own. Get rid of, let's get rid of all the reverb music. So we know this one's for MIDI because it says it at the top. Apply. Quit. All right, here we go. Now we're going to do it. Promise. Fucking love this. There it is. There's a there's the work in progress for the quadland theme. I'm so happy with that. It's everything I asked for. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> let's uh let's dive into some Tomb Raider. It sounds really good. Yeah. I I I will hopefully tonight I'll get a chance to try out the the SC8820. Um I just I haven't had a chance. It's sitting right here. Like, it's sitting on top of all the other MIDI hardware, but um, I just haven't gone under the desk to swap some plugs. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's dive into some Tomb Raider with uh, 3D effects. So right now, that um, the sound of the computer fan is still pretty loud. Can't hear it from there. Can you guys still hear the computer fan? You know, there's one thing that I could do. There's one thing that... Give me a second. Give me a second. I think... I think this is a thing that I can I can manage um, in these specific scenes. Actually, you guys shouldn't hear it at all. But when I do this, you should. So now you can hear it, right? I think this scene automatically turns on a filter is why nobody's complaining about it. Because I, I set it up to.
And now it's gone. Yeah, it's you know, even if I put it below the desk, we're still gonna hear it. It's just a loud fan. Um, it's not you know it's not like a modern PC where they're trying to make the fans quiet. Um, and unfortunately, it's not a case fan that's loud. Because I did plan on replacing all these case fans eventually with really silent Noctua fans, which are very expensive, but, you know, would be worth it in the long run. Uh, but this being, you know, a CPU fan, it's... I'm, my options are maybe pretty limited there. Yeah. So I think what happened earlier... So when it's... Um, we can't use built-in OBS filtering when it's people at, at all four microphones. But if I'm just sitting at one desk, we can use it. Otherwise, it'll be like doing all kinds of stuff and fighting with itself um, or not working at all. Um, so noise suppression can be a thing when it's just me at the different stations um, and not so much any other time. <clears throat> All right, let's dive into let's dive into Tomb Raider. We're gonna do it. We're playing um, Tomb Raider Gold. Um, I've done a bunch of Tomb Raider on on the stream, but I've and I've done the expansion levels for Tomb Raider One, but I've never done like Tomb Raider One itself. And we're just gonna play the the part I like, which is the first part of this game. I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan, uh, but I I feel like Tomb Raider immediately drops off when they get to St. Francis Folly. And I just, I feel like I've played through the rest of it, and I just don't want to ever again. <laughs> <clears throat> there they are, tomb boxes. That's right. Um, this is this camera is set to a very low resolution to save on on uh, on bandwidth. But there you go. This is the Tomb Raider Tomb Raider Gold uh, from Hastings, apparently. I also have a square box for this called Tomb Raider Unfinished Business, which is the exact same thing as gold, but Unfinished Business is the name of one part of the expansion packs for this. Um, these come into two parts. Uh, it's Unfinished Business and Shadow of the Cat. Of course, there are people that'll say it's all called Unfinished Business, but it's not. The second set of levels is called Shadow of the Cat, and those are the, or that's the Egypt levels. <clears throat> It actually says it right here. Plus four new levels. Shadow of the Cat and Unfinished Business. Yeah, St. Francis Folly and basically anything after that. Like, I don't like the Egypt levels either. I gotta be honest. I only really like it, like, through the Tomb of Qualipec. <clears throat> Fighting the dinosaurs and the scenery and the waterfalls and just, uh, just love it. Tomb Raider 2 is a very good game, but I think 3 is the first one that I really loved. <clears throat> which which we were fighting about with uh, <laughs> Catesio recently. Yeah, like I just like the, the Peru levels. It's true. Right. You couldn't really like Tomb Raider 3. I, I just, I like Tomb Raider 3. But yeah, we've never fired up just a straight Tomb Raider one on this stream. I did. I did every Sunday. I used to play like the Tomb Raider custom levels that user users made because um, there's hundreds of thousands of them. But then I just I just needed a day off, <laughs> so I stopped. Yeah, no, just just unfinished business and Shadow of the Cat. How to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, <laughs> great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Right. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? Sorry, oh, sorry. I only play for sport. Play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges <clears> to cover. 
sheer walls of ice, rocky crags, savage winds, and there's this little trinket, an age-old artifact of mystical powers buried in the unfound tomb of... Oh, I love anniversary. That's my I do. Interest. You could leave tomorrow. That is how you do a remake. Oh, I figured it out. Volume down and power will restart my phone. Woo, okay. It's good. <clears throat> kind of need that. So this is a, an unmodded game with the exception of using... Well, it is, it is a modded game. But it's not using anything to really make it new. It's all era-appropriate stuff. Um, so we're using the Voodoo 2, uh, which is a special patched launch file that came down uh, from the CD. And actually, I'll show you what we had to do here real quick. Um, I'm going to exit the game instead of alt-tabbing it. Games from this era did not alt-tab gracefully. So what we had to do was we had to make a, a special launcher for it to fix a bunch of things in the color palette. Um, I was basically adding all of this, then telling it to launch the, the tomb thing. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's setting screen refresh rate and fixing colors. <clears throat> what in a window why who would who would do this who would do this i fucked up we might have to restart the computer <coughs> new stream team everyone they are official though yeah None of yeah yeah it's a it's a specific thing to to voodoo too. Oh my god, old computers. Where do you? We're trying to launch this again. I think it's because I had the old one open. I tried to click away. There we go. Yeah. So it's a bummer. There's a 3D effects, a spinning 3D effects logo that plays here, but I don't think the video capture picks it up. That switches over fast enough. So far, I've only played three games with the Voodoo card um, since we got it installed. Yeah, it's got the spinning logo. Um, it's got... So I've played this. I played a little bit of Hexen 2. And I fired up uh, Croc Legends of Gobos. This looks fucking incredible. This was the one that blew me away the most. Um, and then we did a clean install of Windows 98, and I have not gotten this to work again. Um, this is almost, well, we've done this on the one hour stream, but we're going to long play this with the Voodoo at some point. But I've got so many games I want to put in here and fire up. I also, so there's two computers at this desk. This one has, um, a GeForce 2 with the, the Voodoo 2. And it has the AWE 64 Gold, and then it has a hard, hard MPU 403 that's sending... Um, the MIDI app. The other computer at this desk that's probably going to be my LAN PC um, is, you know, the it's a, it's a Pentium 3 with a Rage 128 Pro, like all the other machines that are in there. Um, but it all, it's the one that has the Aureal Vortex 2 sound card, um, which I finally got to hear for the first time um, after Pickle Dog sent me one that he, had, he scrounged up. <clears throat> I just have one. I just have one. And I scored it for $75, which is, is huge. Sorry, I skipped over the intro video, but y'all wanted to see the glide working, right? Um, I also snagged the, the other card that's in this computer, which is the AWE Gold um, for $75, which that's like a $250, $300 card. You think you got yours for $15? I know, right? It's ridiculous. Alright. I gotta remember my hand positions here. That's right, we can't do sprint in this one. This is so cool. I wish that I could toggle back and forth. I wish I could toggle back and forth between the graphics. But, I mean, my god, it's just so smooth. Like, it really is. 
<clears throat> Dude, right now we're we're living in a in a in a rough time for PC hardware. Um and I think I was talking to Nate about this, but even sounds like um Lazy Game Reviews is very careful about what he even what content he even puts up on YouTube anymore because he became aware that every time he did a video, the price would jump on all of it. <clears throat> I see tiles here, but it looks, it, you know, I know there's not like a floor, a weird floor tile area there, like that collapses, but it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? That's what you get for being popular. You think he, he mentioned it in a blurb that he knew it? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't, I don't watch, I don't watch YouTube all that much. I just hang out on Twitch. I used to watch LGR all the time. Hey, Dan Van Dam, welcome in. Even if it's AGP? Mine's PCI. You have a voodoo that's AGP. Interesting. So there's only there's usually only one AGP slot um, in a computer. So you're having... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Contessia. So you have to have a PCI graphics card for it to go through. Right? Is that how that works? Might be a Voodoo 3. A Voodoo 3's got its own. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tomb Raiding just started. We found the first little secret here, which is great. Off to a good start. I do really love this these games. Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, specifically. In or out of the Tomb Raider games. Uh, has always been an important character to me. For... A, a wide variety of reasons. Hey, Toast, welcome in. You know what's really weird about the AWE 64 Gold sound card that we're using? It is it has um fucking RCA jacks on the back. <laughs> it doesn't have it doesn't have like the standard headphone jack to go to speakers. So I had to put an adapter on it before the splitter. Um, and they're like, they're gold-plated. That was kind of the whole thing. That's why it's called gold. Lots of gold-plated connections on it. A Voodoo 3 AGP. It's AGP. I Yeah, I've never seen... This is the first time I'm... Like, this weekend. This is the first time I've ever seen Glide in person. Um, and it is... Uh, it's nice. Is really nice. Yeah, gold plate connection is good. Hey, Unix. One C for that gold plating. Um, well spent, right? <laughs> hey, I've never played Tomb Raider 1, Sean. Never played Tomb Raider 1. Also, I need to make this month's schedule. I had another game lined up, and I said, fuck it, I want to do something with the voodoo. So we're going to play Tomb Raider 1. I've never played Tomb Raider 1 on stream. Only its expansion packs and uh, the uh, um, all the user-created levels. Not all of them, but a bunch of them. Yeah, I've never played Tomb Raider 1. No, I have not. I've played the expansion pack for Tomb Raider 1, which is Shadow of the Cat and... Um, uh, I just said, Unfinished Business. So who are... Yeah, I've never played on stream. Because when I started streaming, I had just beaten it. It's been a, it's been a while though. We're well, like five years I haven't played this level, so I'm gonna be fumbling around. I might even go for the strategy guide because it's a Tomb Raider game, and I have like five different strategy guides for this particular one. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I've just never streamed it. Yes, but I've played it. Yes, I have played. I've beaten Tomb Raider 1 several times. Um, an anniversary at least once. <clears throat> I've played it enough times that I know not to play past the opening levels. Because <laughs> I don't love them. I don't love them as much. But no, I've never streamed it. And I've never seen it with Voodoo. Oh shit, I thought he was right behind me. Here he is. We saw a bat in our neighborhood. Um, 
I love bats, one. Uh, so I hate that I have to shoot animals. Well, you don't have to. You can actually do a pacifist run. But uh, we saw a bat in the neighborhood. We have a bat box in our backyard, but we've never seen anything use it. And we weren't sure, you know, if we actually had bats in the area we lived. We saw one the other night when we were on a dog walk, and it made me really happy. So maybe one day there will be a family of bats in our bat box on the edge of our trellis. Because that would be pretty cool. We hadn't met each other yet when I did Tomb Raider 1 with Voodoo 2. I've seen you play one or two. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you play a couple of games with your Voodoo 2. <clears throat> It's probably about the point where I should start saving the game. Oh, there's a frame counter. Was that F2 that did that? 30 FPS. Yeah, F2 activates a frame counter. So does F3 do the mip mapping? I noticed that it's almost like anti-aliasing. <laughs> you had a Mary, you lean against the wall of your balcony, and it, it turned into a bat habitat. And they cling against. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, Need for Speed a while back. Yeah, it was like a year ago. You've never seen bats where you live, Mister V. But you hear them chirp sometimes. That's cool. Yeah, I played Spore for like nine hours on Friday. It was a long day. Um, and then we streamed PC building all of Saturday. And then me and Nate did network stuff. I haven't had a day off. This is still last week for me. Um, it's it's been it's been a week. We've gotten so much done. We got all the PCs networked, Sean. <clears throat> Um, I think you just missed it, but a little bit ago, I showed two of the PCs playing Doom and Diablo together. <clears throat> so that was the last big hurdle. And, you know, once I get the other two PCs in here, well, the other three PCs, um, because this test is going to have two two options. But once I get that that done, like, we're good. We just make scenes. Work on the back end. We have to teach him some guitar stuff? Nice. Um, is the voodoo signal looped and last in the chain? Voodoo signal... Uh, it comes out of the video card, goes into the voodoo, and then the voodoo goes out to the monitor. But in my case, it goes to a splitter that goes to the monitor that goes to an HDMI converter that goes to the, the capture... On the stream PC. Uh, <laughs> which also receives the sound um, from an audio jack into the converter. And that's every computer. This will never get, this will never get a, that word we don't use. That'll never happen. <laughs> okay, I gotta deal with this wolf. He's just super annoying. They just, like, I think they're, where are they? They under me? There's something about this area that, oh, there they are. There's something about this area that, like, dumps you down to them. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm not totally sure. Like, you can make this game kind of blurry and kind of sharp. I think I like it sharper, though. I mean, I'm always I'm always a fan of of software rendering in games. I think it looks really nice. But man, it does look it does look smoother, doesn't it? It just it also seems a bit blurrier. Actually, hang on real quick. I'm gonna grab the I'm gonna grab the manual and see what those those F three and four actually do here. Because I have one.
You talking about the banding in the, uh... You talking about the banding in the capture that's going diagonal and moving downward? I saw that. Um... That could be a couple things. It is. So, it could be a couple things. It could be that the HDMI is sitting close to an Ethernet cable that has power running through it, which it is. Um, it could be also behind the desk near a, uh, you know, a, the, the power cable going to a computer's piece, uh, PSU. Um, so it could be that the VGA or the HDMI is unshielded. It could also be one of the cables I have is not the best quality. Um, this is a lot. So according to the manual... No, I don't have banding on the monitor. I think it's it's past this. Um, it could also be internal to the capture device I'm using. Um, it could be a lot of things. Uh, it's not it's not my highest priority. So according to this, F3 should be increased display size, while two should be decreased. But we know that's wrong uh, because F2 is FPS. Three does something with mip mapping, maybe. Yeah, it is for software rendering, but the, the manual here doesn't have anything for the 3D effects, so we'll probably have to go read its... Um, read its readme file, which it does have one, but uh, we'll, we'll look at that another time. I'm not all tapping in. Ow. <clears throat> one of these collapse. I can't remember. I'm not expecting myself to really make any progress in this game. <clears throat> God, you guys are annoying sounding. Oh, if I remember correctly, there's like a there's like a secret down there, isn't there? We might have to go down there, explore a little bit. We'll do it from the bridge. Kill him from the bridge. Once you lock on. Got people while you fall asleep? Hell yeah. Don't tell Wolfie. That's right. The ADC. How is the game locking at 30 FPS? Half rate VSync? No, no, we're doing the Voodoo, which I assume the Voodoo EXE locks at a 30 FPS. I don't think that this game went higher than 30 FPS, to be honest. Um, but I could be wrong. I feel like there was a pickup down here somewhere, but I, I, my memory's not great. It's not. No, right, we'll hop back up here, I guess. Change resolution. FPS on and off. Anti it is the anti-aliasing. That's what it looks like it was doing, but I felt like this was way too early for anti-aliasing. I didn't think that uh, that was a thing until, like, you know, 
a couple years later. Wow, that's crazy. So hang on. Let's change resolution. No, F1 doesn't do anything for me. <clears throat> but it really does. Like, you can see it. See what I mean? Um, it really, it really does do a thing. That's wild. I like the way both of them look, to be honest. I don't mind jaggy lines. Woo! <clears throat> No, I like I like the jaggy lines. It depends. If it's like a photorealistic game, I, they bother me. But if like somebody's trying to use like shaders and uh, filters to get them out of Doom or an old game like this, it's like yeah, it doesn't look good to me. Like a bear down here or something. Man, I love the way this looks. <clears throat> I know there's a health kit down here somewhere. Did I take damage somewhere? The hell hit me. Oh, I got him. Huh. I feel like everything's supposed to take more, more bullets. Maybe it lowers the resolution on certain cards because the Voodoo One can only support that one. Huh. <clears throat> I accidentally put my gun away instead of jumping backwards. Ah, this takes us back out here. This is how we yeah, we can't go over the everything again now. <laughs> uh, this way, this one. Here it is. <clears throat> it makes me sad, but I understand it. But there, I've run into a lot of people um, that just cannot get around the the navigation in this game. This looks really good. This does look really good. Like, the controls in this game, they are what they are, but... Uh, I've never I've never had an issue with them. I have a harder time playing this on a controller. Uh, but I have done that. Yeah, I wonder what it was, too. I mean, it must have been proprietary to 3D effects. Or whatever. Man, I just love how this looks. I feel like every time I play this game, I... Ah! I feel like every time I play this game, I'm kind of playing it for the first time because it looks completely different. <clears throat> like, I played it in software. I played it in HD. I played it in 1920 by 1080 um, with some, some HD mods and Linux. <clears throat> and now I'm seeing it in 3D effects, and it's just it's nice. You're listening to it. Um, this game has CD audio. Which, for the vast majority of the game, is ambient tracks. Um, so you'll be hearing, like, there's like a little gong in the background, like da 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 da. Uh, when events happen in this game, it does play actual music music, but they're pretty sparse. There's probably only six of them in the whole game. Maybe there's a few more, but... Um, and they're all, they're all CD audio, so you know it's about to happen because you hear it spin up. <clears throat> Thank you. 
But no, Tomb Raider 1, by by its design, was meant to be like an atmospheric uh, a thing. It's very quiet. It's very quiet. Uh, like, it is, it is literally meant to be an ambient sound. Did they really, Unix? That's crazy. Yeah, like the ambient sound in the background is a, is akin to like a ship creaking. Or or like you know that sound that is like the the impulse drive on the on the Star Trek Enterprise, like it's it's really really just barely there. I think that's a time door. As soon as I like I make this jump, it's gonna be like it's gonna close on me. Can I make this one? This one's pretty far. No, can't. Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Remember that thing? That thing I just said? I remember. I was there. You hear a jet right now? Ah, shit. Oh, oh there's a wolf in here. I knew there was something up these stairs. And probably a spike trap there. Hey, Fat Cat. Hey, I'm doing wonderful. Swan dive uh, off the mansion roof? Nice. Yeah, because you have to do like a you have to do like a glitch to pop up above the, into the mansion roof. Maybe we do have to go down here. It's either where we go or it's spike trap. It's a good time to save. They set that expectation expectation that it's safe to fall through on those, but it's not. Uh, and this is above the original air trap when we came in the door. No, no, it's not. Someplace different. Okay. I do really prefer the, these exploration games versus the heavy combat um, in the newest reboot, if I'm being honest. The combat in these is, is actually bad, though. I don't like the combat in these. They really shine. They really shine with uh, traversal and exploration. What's the poke for? Jay, welcome in. Good to see you, friend. You can still move during cutscenes, which is kind of wild. Is that the end of the level? I think that's the, yeah, it's the end of the level. There we go. The room looks so empty. It's it's 
It'll it'll have more people, but no, this is this is more of a studio than it is a stream room. <clears throat> I still have, I still have that stuff that I need to send you, Jay. We just, we've been so busy. <clears throat> let me, let me make a save here. Um, then I'll see. See if I can boost the sound a little bit. Are the sound effects too loud? Like, is that also an issue? Is it just the music that we're not hearing very well? I'm still trying to, like, I haven't done um, any adjustments, really, um, in the capture audio. I am. It's, well, yeah, I'm playing it through DOS with the Voodoo. Uh, but I'm playing it, you know, in Windows at uh, 98. <clears throat> So I don't want to turn it up any louder than that here because I don't want it to get distorted. Some of these computers distort, some don't. Yep, buy, buy a voodoo card. Real hardware. Okay, I've turned this up significantly. Um, so y'all will have to let me know. Um, and I, I'll go back and watch the VOD. But let me know if it's too loud now. That'll be, that'll be the important part. <clears throat> yeah, because I scored that, that voodoo too a couple months back. Like I said, we're we're still troubleshooting everything about this room. Um, I've never streamed from this desk before. Uh, this is the first time we've played anything in this room on this computer with this setup and the new the new capture devices. So everything everything's going to be out of whack for a while. I appreciate I appreciate everybody's patience with that, of course. Especially my own, because I would rather it just work and be right all the time. <clears throat> Thanks, Fat Cat. <clears throat> oh, that's right, one of the ambushes you. jump there. Alright, everybody's dead. That could have gone, like, any any number of better, but whatever. <laughs> um, I came in from that way... No. <laughs> came in from this way. Those switches? Not switches. Yep, came in from that way. Alright, let's go let's go left first. Actually, fuck it, let's go right first. Is it washed out right now? I mean this game is a pretty monotone color palette. It's very gray. <clears throat> Um, also, the voodoo is not the only thing that's going to be coming from here. What?
run straight to cap and play on pass through. <clears throat> I would never. That is not how this setup works. That would involve, like, man, I would have to do HDMI back um, to each CRT and then have a converter from HDMI to CRT. That would be just gross. <clears throat> There's already $100 of HDMI cables <laughs> to get to get from one corner of the room to the other. Because 50 foot or 25 foot HDMI cables are like $25 a piece. That's nasty. That's why I have powered splitters instead. Man, there's way more animals in this than I remember. <clears throat> Oh, sure. Oh, just out of reach. And this is a door that opens. Here's a switch. I thought there was a key combination to side strafe. Is it... Yeah, okay, it must just be delete and end. I almost bounced back off because of my forehead. I know, so many. Wait, was I supposed to pull or push? I don't think I needed that for anything else in this room. I think I need to push it out. <clears throat> for something out here. If not, we're going to have to pull it all the way back in. Yeah, I think we needed it to get up here. Oh my god, so much blood just came out of my butt.
Hmm, we flipped the switch, but I don't remember what it did. I think where we need to go next is probably in the water. <clears throat> Which is probably one of the most stressful parts of this level. So we flipped that switch, we did that thing. What's over here? Oh, bears! Bears! Surprise bears. Come on, where- Bear? Bear? <laughs> <clears throat> Did it just die? Man, I don't remember the enemies dying this quickly in this game. It's not like there's difficulty level. That bear was running for his he was, yeah, Laura Croft's here. How you doing, Stock? <clears throat> Laura's here to put a dent in the animal population. Alright, uh, yeah. I think I think we're going down to the water now. What's that over there? Oh, dead wolf. Well, you can totally play these pacifists, but uh, everything you can you can you can go you can go without killing anything but the main bosses. Um, I didn't know I could do that two ways. That's cool. Oops, spoilers. Yeah, for a, a very old game. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Gotta remember the swim controls. God, that lighting is good, right? Love it. You didn't realize that in the 90s yet. There's something up here that wants to hurt me. I think. Wow, the camera did not want to be in my control there, did it? Fine. Fine. In here, there's a switch or a push block. I thought. Oh, one of these pillars? Did I miss that somehow? Yeah, this. This is. Oh, you know what? This is where we come later. Uh, we gotta go flip the switch and then come back here, and that'll be open. And then a bear will be in here. Memory serves. <clears throat> yeah, the T-Rex is one of the best parts of this game. I think, I personally, I love the game. Uh, I really do, but I... Uh, I always stop after, like, the, the opening set of levels now. I just... Something about Egypt just really really didn't like. Hey, Dragon. Um, and St. Francis Folly is kind of awful, in my opinion. Um, and then the Atlantean stuff is just kind of bizarre. I don't like, I don't mind Natla's Mines, though. Those are okay levels. I just, I don't find the settings past this particularly interesting. And it's, you know, it's less about the gameplay and more about, like, where the gameplay is. That's why I like 3 so much, because it's all, um, you know, tropical jungles and you know, Pacific Coast and stuff. Neat.
Oh, this was for a secret. Interesting. No, no, there's something else. There's something else down here. <sighs> I think. I don't play these games really often enough to have them memorized. I, I usually end up reverting to a strategy guide at some point. Oh, here it is. Here's the switch I'm looking for. That's the one. Oh, but here real quick. We're gonna go up into that secret for oxygen before we make that swim. With the descent auto map, you know, it would actually be really good to have a map in it. Truth. <clears throat> it relies very heavily on your memory. Which, for me, starts to suffer when I'm also reading chat and, like, getting into random conversations. So it'd be kind of like Jedi Knight, then. Old school J. No? No bear here? There was some pool you come up and there's a bear. You want your maps? Yeah. What? Didn't Unreal have a map? I thought Unreal had a map. Maybe I'm thinking of Turok. Turok must have had a map. Both of them had very similar, like, fucking water temples. Um, and I know I spent a lot of time staring at the map of one of them. It must have been Turok. <clears throat> <clears throat> Another secret? Neither of these were the way forward. I think it's like Magnum Ammo. I know where all the secrets are, I just don't know the way forward. <laughs> Devs got lazy and started making level super linear. <laughs> yeah, both of those things work, I guess. Alright, well... So everything in the water was a secret. Interesting. We gotta figure out where to go. So we. There's like a tank and FPS right there. This is the way in. <clears throat> and pretty much all of these go around the outside. We already jumped across that, we got the thing out of it. Back to the beginning. Trying to map it out in my brain here. <clears throat> it would just have to be like different colors 
Alright, we found more bad guys. Clearly something open over here. thing that we need is a key here which i don't yeah we didn't pick up no no <laughs> i've not explored this corner of the map right, let's keep going around the outside what was that oh that's that switch how we used to open that door. Did we just miss the key somewhere? Might have. The game looks like hell, so you never checked it out. The scent? Wolf. I'm gonna go retrace my steps in these rooms again, I guess. I obviously missed a key pickup somewhere. <clears throat> oh, don't miss it! Okay. okay. So yeah, this one, we went in here and it was just like the heart. Or not the heart, the uh... Oof, that was a lot of fall damage. <clears throat> it was just the, the med pack pickup over there, and then we pushed the block out. <clears throat> What's in here? Not the key, just sprites. Well now, okay, we ran out up there. What's down here? We didn't go down here. There's the key. There it is. Alright, figured it out. Nice work, me, us. World's bro. Finds a key by accident and I figured it out? No, it wasn't by accident. I went looking for it. I meant to find it. Yeah, we're doing this on the Voodoo, so we actually have more than 20 FPS. And not software rendering. We'll do this all acrobatic like and get out of here. Oh, one right through my torso. I knew they were in here. You've watched a Let's Play of this on a local TV channel? Yeah? That's pretty wild. There's so many in here.
think there was anything down here, but I want to check it. The water section, it gave me anxiety too as a kid, man. Watching that breath meter go down was like the worst. Anymore? The trick to these is you go right to the edge and then you come back one. You, you hop back one and that's one tile on the floor. And then when you run and hold alt, like you press run, then hold alt, it'll automatically go to the end of that tile and jump, kind of no matter what you do. So it's like, pop, and it's a perfect jump every time. <clears throat> and then you kill the bats. <clears throat> I just really like exploring this game. There's something very peaceful about exploring this game. And then there's things to shoot at, which kind of takes away from that, but... I think I can grab that? Oh, yeah, I can. That's the one I went through originally. Let's go to the one over here. I'll probably save before we go in. <clears throat> This one's just pretty much the same thing, but more complicated jumps. I'm gonna check the water though first. <clears throat> and we're going counterclockwise. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Now I think we have to reload. I don't know. Let's see if I can actually make that jump without the platform there. Because I might. Yeah, okay. You don't need to hit those platforms. <clears throat> Oof. That, that worked out. Question mark. The ceiling's too low, probably, to make that jump. Let's go a long way around. Laura's Superwoman jumps. I have yeah, the. Up, up, and away. So it is. Yeah, I never thought about it, but they're definitely Supergirl jumps, aren't they? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How you doing, Newton? Great to see you. <clears throat>
That is not the jump I meant to do here. Lobster mac and cheese cooking in the oven? Aw, oh, dude, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. We were really boring. My, my wife tweaked her back a little bit yesterday, so she's mostly been in bed with the heat pack. Um, she was weed eating and twisted bad and got her. Um, but we ordered we ordered Chinese for dinner last night and couldn't decide on what we wanted, so we got like a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna be eating that for, for like the next bunch of meals. Uh, it's fine. You can't, like, get, like, a single serving of, like, General Tao's and, uh, you know, Lo Mein or whatever. So you have to get, like, the family size ridiculous portions. <clears throat> um, what did I just open? I looked away and now I'm turned around. I must have to go back out here. That seems right. The best value in fast food, no joke. I, you know, I just, I don't love it. There's only a couple things that I like and the rest of it just tastes like... I mean, soy sauce. But I don't like stir fry. I really, I really don't. Um, you know, I mean, I'm a sucker for cream cheese wontons, though. And General Tao's, even though it's sweet, I like that one a lot. Um, but I would rather have anything else besides Chinese. Just last night, nothing else sounded amazing. But it worked out. It worked out. It was all very tasty. And we went with the highest rated one in Vancouver. <clears throat> it is good value. It is good value. I'm also like on the boat of I need to watch my portions and lose weight still desperately. Um, so <laughs> I would I would happily pay more for for less but better tasting food. <laughs> um, if it meant not not feeling like I had to eat all of the. Everything before it went bad, you know? I'll switch here. <clears throat> you got various sauce, meats, sesame, towels. Orange is served with rice and pills. That's awesome. Well, so you do it without meat? You're saying you just do it with rice? Fuck. Fuck. Crocagators. <clears throat> was there a crocagator? I think there was. I heard something. Did you get the meats to eat rice fills you up? Yeah. I heard him. Allodiles and crocagators. Oops, turned around too much. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> Was it that one there? Oh, here's... Wow, that bear's walking on his hind legs. You see that bullshit? See that bullshit? So if you hold fire and you hold INS, it'll keep the camera locked to him. <clears throat> Alright. We got his ass. We need a key for this, apparently. Hey, Rush, welcome in. No! no. Alright, we gotta find another key here. Well, what was... Oh, wasn't that door? I'll tell you that for free. Hey, things are going great, man. We're testing out a new desk that I haven't streamed from yet, using a bunch of new equipment on the old DOS machine. Got the Voodoo 2 in. 
Sound Blaster AWE 64. I'll say it earlier, but we also networked a whole bunch of the... Um, we got the network up and running, so all these old computers will talk to each other. <clears throat> Secret here. Okay. We can get back up. Whole room's a secret, huh? Ammo for guns I don't have yet. <clears throat> I'm missing. 140. Did I pull that switch? I must have. It looks down. Okay. I pulled it twice during the cutscene, because you can still do things during the cutscene. So I pulled it during the cutscene and turned it back off. The cutscenes in this game are very interesting, because they're actually in the level in real time. They're not like, you know, obviously they're not pre-rendered, they're all in engine, but um, it's just... Kind of wild. So we must be going this way? So maybe this wasn't the place that I was earlier. Well, it is. <clears throat> but why... Why are they... Why do we turn them off? Do we have to, like, go back? Is there something in the sides of one of them? Whoa! Excuse me? What the fuck? What the fuck? Do they all just turn back on? When I pass through. Oh. That's a thing, I guess. I don't know why there's a switch for them. The thing we're looking for must be in here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just gonna turn off that. I don't remember what I I don't remember what I saved. I really like the lighting underwater in this game. Makes me happy. <clears throat> It's not like I'm, uh, <clears throat> short med packs here. I'm finding and picking all of them up. Obviously, we missed the key again. Let's just walk right past it. We gotta get that door open. We need the idol. Now, this was a secret, right? Yeah, that was a secret, so it wasn't in there. And this one opens the gate? No, this one does that. I don't know why you turn those off. What we need to do is get over there. But I don't know how. I don't know how. Unless the answer the answer must be past We we must have to go past them. It must be outside here. So maybe this direction and up? <clears throat> Oh, but why would it make me climb all of this again? See, that doesn't make sense. That part doesn't make sense. 
Anybody who's played this, feel free to shout it out. I've obviously forgotten. Uh, we've, we've, we've gone through all these doors, but I couldn't see this game making me climb those again. Oh, those little towers seem to be like a one-and-done deal. Yeah, this world noir. I just don't know where else there is to go inside. <laughs> ah, forgot to make a jump. This can't be jump. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. No, nothing there. Yeah, there's, there's no way this could be jumped. You'd hit your head. Yeah. That's what I thought. But there's no other doors to open. Right? There's no nothing on this side to climb up then. Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, God. Okay, I found it. Okay. Apparently we never walked into that back corner. No, wait. No, we've been in here. This is this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we, we, we do make it up here, and we do get that. Where the hell's the key? Where's this dumb little idol? Check the other side, okay? So the other side we get to by swimming. Ouch. The hole to get on top, okay. What does this one do, then? Yeah, oh okay, yeah, that's the one that opens that. Hole to get on top. Wait, what is that? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the door just opened and asked for a key. That's The key is what I'm looking for. I haven't been able to find it yet. There is a switch here that, like, stops the... 
hang on, hang on. <clears throat> I never, I always swam and we just went in here. We never really looked the opposite direction. Hey, Doc, welcome in. There's something over here. We've already looked, but... No. Yeah. I was sure, but... Maybe. <laughs> Sonic Drowning music? Yeah. Oh, did I get really low? I wasn't even looking. Just... We'll check the secret area again. Ouch. There wasn't... There wasn't anything here. Yeah, so we're not looking for a switch. We're only looking for that one thing. This is like the end of the level, too. I'm gonna go dig out a strategy guide. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, like, there's a thing here to stop the, the, the blades from swinging. Like, it wants me to... Go back outside. Oh, real. I used a whole bunch of... <clears throat> that packs. Okay. Oh, this was like just into here. <laughs> oh, we're into it. Dang it! Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, right. This collapses with that. <laughs> Take a little bit of. A med pack here while we're free falling, it'll be fine. <sighs> Some really nice ports in this. There are! Yeah, there are. This is the room where we get dogged by the bear. Very annoying way to. I wonder why he wasn't here Oops, in the original. There are some nice ports. I've played, I've played it with uh, like the HD port that does like 1920 by 1080 um, and injects some glide and PlayStation 1 textures. And it was all right. I beat the whole thing that way actually. And I beat the original in software. Um, I've also have Tomb Raider 1 and 2 on my Android phones, and those actually play really nice with a Bluetooth controller. Plus they have, like, Google Play achievements, which is kind of fun. They don't sell them anymore. The, that company, VR something or other, got in a big fight with, with, uh, Core. Or no, with, um, Square Enix. And they're delisted now. They, they they posted images that they were working on the, the Android port of VR of uh, Tomb Raider 3. <clears throat> and, you know, they said, like, we've made progress getting the Steam release. And um, Square Enix was like, you didn't ask us permission, even though they had worked on the, the previous two um, for them. Um, and they kind of, like, freaked out and said, we're done forever, fuck you. And uh, all the, the games got pulled down. and They never happened. So we never got these, you know, HD remasters from the Android on PC because they forgot to ask Square Enix first. Square Enix um, sent them a cease and desist, actually, which is why they freaked out uh, because they had a good relationship with them and then just a lawyer sent the thing telling them to stop. <laughs> and they were like, we're never working with you again because that's bullshit, which I agree with. 
But it's also kind of sad. Um, because they were they were really good ports. The golden idol's supposed to be where I picked up the silver key. Did I pick up a silver key in this level? Well, that was the previous level. <clears throat> There must be a room I haven't found yet. This is just ammo. Maybe we need to, like, really go backwards in the level. Like, really go backwards. Let's flip this switch. That was in here. We gotta go to the other side, I guess, to get the one that... Opens both doors? Why are both doors closed? Wait, what? I think I forgot to flip the switch here. <clears throat> I think I forgot to flip the switch here. This before this area, like, really back? Oh, okay. Well, that explains why it wants me to turn the... spikes, the, the swinging blades off. So we'll go r way back through the cave. The start of the level. Oh wow, okay. Let's do that then. Was it accessible from the start of the level or something I did in there that let it out? I have. Um, I've never, I've never completed um, four, five, and six though. Those are the only ones I haven't finished. Here we are at the start. I've even played. Some of the, uh, like, Relic Runner and Go, some of the Android ports. Or the Android, uh, games. Quite enjoyed those, actually.
Oh, this is back here. So <clears throat> You sure about this? I'm not I'm not convinced the key for this is back here. The idol. It's not a, not exactly a key. Cuz we we've, we've been through this area. That's 6. That's what I was talking about. 4, 5 and 6 I haven't finished. Angel of Darkness, I um it got delayed like 2 years. It was kind of crazy. Um I was ridiculously excited about it and then when it came out it didn't run well on my computer and i never i never finished it it was it was damn near unplayable for me on my windows xp machine back then and it was you know it was super shoddy and underdeveloped and it's got it's cult following though but i've never i've never finished it um, one day I would say that I do a run through of all these games, but man, that would take me like a year and a half. The guy is really crappy. We'll tell you what, we got a thing for that. I've got actual like physical magazine guides from Prima for this. Let me just go grab one. Here. Cause I'm tired of being stuck. Actually, here, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick while I'm standing up. And uh, then we'll, we'll come back and we'll solve this. All secrets. All puzzles. Solved. Um, enjoy some community clips. I'll be right back. The other secret was the doctrine of Nintendo. The way of evenly duty. The word Nintendo is formed from the first kanji of three proverbs. Ninga Muchin, which means attend to one's duties without ego. Tenzai Korin, those in heaven will descend. And Dogi Tsume, moral action is daily command. The way of Ninten illustrates the mindset of the Kego Tora army. Soldiers who have entrusted themselves to the heaven to fight for a common purpose. And this is the true origin of Bushido, the code of the samurai. Contrary to popular belief, humans, human anatomy did not evolve with muppetry in mind. Muppets are, evolutionarily speaking, a recent development in the scheme of the human race. Oh, get this. It's a margarita from a can. But I put it in a glass. And it looks pretty legit! It looks pretty good! They continue. Oh, that's right, I remember dying over there. That's how I get familiar with my environment. That's how I really learn it. So, oh, I died over there. You are a piece of shit. I want to beat it up. Stupid mimic. No ring for butt hurt. <laughs> get greedy. Get greedy. Get greedy. He'll come down. He'll come down. And then you can kill him. You just three hits. Three hits. Come on. Just wait. Just wait. That should have taken an HP out of him. That was kind of bullshit. Come on. Yeah, Bubba. Yeah, Bubba. Yeah. Well, meat. Eat it. Wait a minute. Oh, what happened? Thank you for the GG's free needles. Upstairs, that's what happened. Oh! Oh, fire bad! Mmm, Belmont's no like! Fire bad!
chair we actually pulled out some hard drive enclosures all right i'm back was there a good lgg clip okay <clears throat> what was that severe thunderstorm that is very unusual for here why am i getting alerts for baltimore that's the other side of the fucking country what Whatever, Google. Whatever, Google. Okay. <clears throat> Where are we at? Um pulling out pulling out the guy. Hey Birdman, how you doing? Hey, good to thank you. Thank you. Man, look at some of the art in here. That's insane. So cool. <clears throat> Chapter two, caves. No. Get the gold. Yeah, we haven't made it to the Lost Valley yet. Alright. So you get through the, the choppers. Is this like the PlayStation Guide or something? It's a little bit different. It's kind of bizarre. <clears throat> All right, go in there. Do that. All right, enter the doorway to the temple, greeted by swinging axes that will cut Laura down if you don't do your timing right. Let's swing down the passages. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Welcome in. Swing down the passages, but don't come up in the main room. You'll arrive. Uh, there's a giant bear. Instead, swim through the hole to another room, run up the stairs. Um, and use the switch to open the gate below. Now shoot the bear from the balcony. You can safely jump down. Run around to the other side, hit the temple switch, uh, then use the golden idol. Okay. Alright, so the golden idol we should have picked up long ago. There's a bat and pistols. You find the golden idol on a ledge. On a ledge. It says like the golden idol should be in the same room as the push block, I think. <clears throat> Which is bizarre. So what have you been up to, uh, Birdman and Tony? The same room as the push block. And the push block was... Through all these rooms. But we found the other key there. There's just like another thing sitting there that I just I didn't see. Must be. <clears throat> the golden idol's on a ledge. Did I just, like, skip over it because it looked like set dressing or something? Whoops. Oh, okay. Could have done that better. I, You know, I don't have a Saturn. Um, but I've seen the Saturn version. Um, I've heard good th neat things about it. It's not, like, the best FPS version, but it's got some better effects in some places. Is that the Golden Idol right there? About to head to bed. Oh, we appreciate that. Thank you. It's always, always a pleasure to have Tony here. Let's have the golden idol be on a ledge. That's This is not it. We know what it looks like. We know what shape it has. So we ran around here. We got the, the key. Yeah, this is the push block. Just, just go up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. There was another side to this. All right. I'm glad. Thank you for trying to explain that to me, Stock. <laughs> we got it. So both the keys were in the same place, which is honestly kind of weird. Oops. 
There's something on the floor that looks like a marking to you. May have been a previous level. Were you were you following Bearded Bogle when he was playing through all of these? That's kind of when I met him. Was he was like. Jesus, powering through these. <clears throat> Let's get out of this level. It's a Tony's been streaming a little bit here, like 48 minutes. Yikes. Like a three minute level. So now we're in now we're in the hidden valley, I think. If I remember correctly, that should be this one. It's my favorite level. Lost Valley, yeah. <clears throat> and then the tomb of Qualipec is after this. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. We're gonna have to load. We're getting dumped! We're getting dumped and we're not ready for that yet. Load? Yeah, good. Yeah, it was, it was before a saving raid. We tried to do Tomb Raider for this year's save and raid, but these games are just, they're kind of a mess. Uh, they're kind of a, like the save files would work, but the games don't run reliably on modern systems. Not all of them. Not all of them. I, oh, I have to make a running jump issue. So we had to scrap that last year before we went with Fallout, which was a bummer. That's a lot of people. A lot of people in there really want to do Tomb Raider, but it's just... Unless they come out with, like, HD remasters of the first couple of games, there's just there's just no way. It's just... The ports... The, the source ports and the, the ways to fix some of them are just so broken. So broken. Whoops. That was... Yeah, we're gonna be... We're gonna be doing saves every step. It's, <clears throat> I'll probably one shot it now that I've, I've slowed myself down. It does. It adds four new levels. The beginning of the game is the same. At the end, it adds two more um, Egypt levels and two more Atlantean levels. Um, they're they're yeah they're at the end. They're on a second disc. Um, I've actually played both of them during December in the last couple of years. Yeah, they're not they're not mixed in, unfortunately. I, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if there was, um... There, there might be a mod out there that could mix it in. I don't think I've never looked for that, specifically. <laughs> Fuck. 
Save the Rackets. Uh, good night. All right, Duck. Save the relics. Kill the demons at the end. Yeah. You have to hit those keys at like just the right time or <clears throat> you have to press jump before forward. <clears throat> We're not even supposed to be here yet. We gotta, we gotta come up with all the gears first. For the Mac, your Mac versions. I like, look at these waterfalls that are like this, like, image gif over there. Love it. Makes me happy. They did a lot with a little. <laughs> yeah, we gotta come up with three gears here. I guess the shotgun. <clears throat> cool, we got the shotgun now. It's not a bottomless pit, apparently. It was fun on an ATI card. Yeah. <clears throat> Tomb Raider 2, it's been a really long time. 2 and 3, it's been a long time since I've played through them. Um. Damn, okay. I think I went... This is the outlet of somewhere else. I guess we gotta go jump down the waterfall. We'll just let ourselves get swept away here, I guess.
There we go. And that's the way back up there to get to the top of the waterfall. I don't think there was anything else in that room. Probably. <clears throat> The first five do. The first five basically use the same engine. I don't know, maybe the sixth one does as well. Um, but it's it's really modified at that point. <clears throat> I think I feel like the sixth one uses a different engine. And I am freezing in here. I'll turn down the AC a little bit. It's supposed to be like 89 degrees today outside, but it is it is 86 right now. It is 66 in here and I am fucking cold. Sixty-six, not fifty-six. Our air conditioner stops at at sixty-one, I think. Yeah, you know, like my hands are just not working. Like they're just too cold. Okay, sure. What uh <laughs> Am I missing something obvious here? There's this cutout back here that goes nowhere. Nowhere at all. It's just just a hole. Look at that poor electric bill. There wasn't even any pickups in there. No ammo, no... <clears throat> no health. Um, we're going up there. We came in from there, I think we're going up here. There weren't even any pickups in there. Yeah, if, if now's the time that Apple's gonna start caring about the electric bill, I'm in trouble. <laughs> this is where this is where this level starts to get exciting. Velociraptors. Day one cohabitation. I'm actually curious to know what the quad land affects the electric bill. I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <clears throat> we really only got four, four ammo for this thing? Jesus. That's going to be a little rough.
here in a second. It's gonna be one of the few moments that there's actually music in this game. Just, I love this level. I love this level. Especially this area. <clears throat> I think this area is meant to hide from the T-Rex. I think we did that without taking any damage. Yo. There he is. There's the T-Rex. The legendary, legendary moment. Yeah, there wasn't any music, was there? Weird. Very weird. I remember there being music when he comes out. This is cool looking. I like that. Done in five seconds. Yeah. Honestly, I like the the hidden T Rex fight in Tomb Raider too better. In the very in the Great Wall of China, there's a cave. It's totally optional. If you go down below, you can you completely can skip over it so easily. Um, but there's the there's the hidden T Rex down there. It's like an Easter egg that you can fight, and I think that's a better fight. To be honest. <clears throat> okay, what time is it? 30. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and call it here because I've got a bunch of stuff I gotta take care of tonight I got like a meeting with Captain Peel card here um, after dinner but I need to get some more stuff going on here it's always a one hour stream <laughs> it's uh you're, no no you're fine you're fine uh, this is kind of like the point I wanted to get to today we I I wanted to get a little bit further, but like we spent like 48 minutes in the previous level. Um, I need to the stuff I got to do is I got to work on the schedule for the rest of the month, which I haven't done yet. Um, I need to finish picking up in here from Saturday. I need to meet with Captain Peel Card and figure out some programming stuff to get this working. Um, dinner, and I'd like to spend like a couple hours hanging out with my wife tonight, which I haven't been able to do yet today. Um, plus, we got to pick up the dog from the thing, so. Is it for me today? Is it for me today? Also, I need to go back and watch the VOD because apparently my audio is horrible. <laughs> if, if anybody has any suggestions for games you want me to do on the one hour stream uh, this month, PM me, Whispers, um, Discord, or uh, Twitch. Um, and if I have them, I'll, and I haven't done them yet. Um, I'll throw them in the schedule. Otherwise, I'm just going to hit a big old shuffle button and see where we're going. I also need to network three more PCs. Uh, I'm going to leave this on for a bit. I might mess with... Actually, no. I'm going to turn it down. Whoops. Or turn, turn it off. Okay. <clears throat> uh, if I have that one, maybe just PM me so I don't lose it, please. Uh... Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, there was, you know what? Something came in the mail today that I bought. Um, let's do this real quick. This is, this is the least exciting, but when you guys see it, you'll be like, oh yeah, good call. Um, like literally the least exciting thing, but. Hey Techno Bumble, welcome in. That one's worth a long play. It's only a couple hours long. Didn't I wait, didn't I play that one? Yeah, once you guys see what this is, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, fucking good call. Ready? A class B and C fire extinguisher. Because the fire signature we have, you don't want to spray on electronics because it's water-based. Uh, so this guy, which had better say that that's what it is. A must-have, right, Gorilla? Yeah. Uh, yeah, here you go. Um, yeah, this one's A, B, and C. So it's trash, wood, paper, liquids, electrical equipment right there. Um, so this is going to be the Quadlands fire extinguisher because we're using old hardware. You know? We're using old hardware and that's prone to fucking up. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out. Get the, this guy off of it. Um, so we don't have to fight it. For an emergency. Because I was thinking about that and I was like, do I need like a fire blanket? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. You know, because we were, when we were building the PCs, I was hearing them all scream. You know? Or not all of them, but like a couple of them were screaming really hard. And, uh... Come on, get out of here, man. I ain't trying to take this pen off, you know? Jesus, man. <laughs> Come on. Whatever, it can stay there. At least I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take this off ahead of time. I, I have to imagine you you need it to get... All right, here we go. Lift the handle a little bit. Lift the handle a little bit and knock that out. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna... Look into fire extinguisher balls. Yeah. So this is like, they don't have any like, mounting hardware for it, except for this, but, um, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna hang this outside of the room, would be my guess, by the exit. Maybe I'll keep it in here. I just don't know where I put it. There's no, there's no, like, wall space left, you know? Unless I put it maybe behind the door. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be so crazy. Southwest, northeast. I'm still trying to figure out where the, all these cameras go. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe here. It's a bit snow because I don't want the door to hit it. Um, that might not work. I might have to put it in the hallway out here. Yeah, maybe like right here. Probably wouldn't be. So the catch is that the other one's out there too, and I don't want anybody, you know, me or anybody else to grab the wrong one in the panic. That could be that could be bad. Get electrocuted, but yeah. Needed a fire extinguisher for sure. <sighs> okay. Hey, everybody. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate y'all. Um, I will try to get a schedule done tonight. If not, I'll just pick a random game tomorrow and do the schedule another time. Uh, we're gonna try to get back to Bolt Gun this week. Hopefully we can get that done. That'd be nice. I was real close to taking this week off streaming, to be honest. 
because uh, this weekend was a lot. It was a lot for me. But I think I can manage it all. <clears throat> but I ain't gonna do shit this weekend. <laughs> I don't know what that screenshot is. We're doing something else. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks for being here. Um, let's go raid the Lost Wolf. Maybe he'll be going for a bit. He's doing he's doing bug fables. He always has something cool going on on his channel. I like I like the games he plays. Plus, he's just a really nice, soft-spoken person. His, his channel, his streams are always just chill and zen, and I love it. There's a link in case um, raids break for you. We'll see you over there. Thanks for being here, everybody. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.